Today, inshallah, brothers and sisters, we're counting down towards the end of the month of Duqiyada. And that means in a couple of days, inshallah, we will begin the first 10 days of the month of Dhul Hijjah, which as an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa taught us the best days and the best time of the entire year. We find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refer to the significance of those 10 days in Surah Al-Fajr when he says Wal-Fajr Ash Wal-Shaf'i wal So these are oaths. I swear to the dawn, I swear to the 10 nights, I swear to the even and the odd. These four Ayman or oaths refer to number one Al-Layal al which is a second oath. Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him and his father, Tarjuman al-Quran said, that is the first 10 days of the month of Dhul Hijjah, which is the best time of the entire year. And then al shafaa that is the Eid day, because it is the 10th of the month of Dhul Hijjah. And al Witr or al Watr, you can say both, is referring to the ninth day of the month of Dhul Hijjah, which is the day of Arafah. Those days, brothers and sisters, and this time is the greatest time of the entire year at large. In a sound hadith, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, ما من أيام العمل الصالح فيهن خير منها في هذه العشر. Very eloquent uh, statement in which the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said what needs to be explained in many statements that the best time to do any good deeds the first 10 days of the month of Dhul Hijjah whether it is the remembrance of Allah whether it is given in a charity whether it is fasting beginning from the first of Dhul Hijjah which will be in a few days inshallah all the way to the ninth and we don't fast on the tenth the tenth is the Eid day and it is forbidden to fast on any Eid whether Eid al-Adha or Eid al-Fatr 